Hi, this is Lou DiNapoli. Today I'd like to show you the latest in Psytrance P from Siemens, the new P320 and 420. This transmitter is really evolutionary. As you know uh, from our history with the DS3, the thing that we liked most was the setup via the push buttons for the DS3. Well, we've continued that in the new series transmitter, but we've increased the number of buttons from three to four. So four is always better than three. Uh, today, I'd like to show you how you would go about setting up the upper range value and lower range value of the pressure for this transmitter by simply using the push buttons and how you go, that, go about with that. Okay. Now, you've just walked up to this transmitter, a customer gave it to you, and sure enough, uh, he wants to set it up for flow application. He's got an orifice plate, he's got some water flowing through it, and he wants to set it up to show flow. Well, as I said before, uh, with the new push button system and the parameters that we have, uh, you can now set up the display to show flow units. So let's see how that's done. All right, here we start out, we're measuring pressure and it's in bar. Well, we don't want that. Let's slide the cover, get to the enter button, and we're gonna enter now to parameter one. Now the pressure units there are bar. I don't want bar, I want inches of water. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use the right hand button. I know from doing this before, that inches of water are going to be down this list. There's PSI, there's grams per centimeter squared, other of the, some of the 18 units, there's millimeters of water at 68, there's inches of water at 68 degrees F. Now we've set the units of this transmitter up in inches of water. So we're now going to set up our lower range value and upper range value of 0 to 50, which is what the customer got from his orifice manufacturer. So what we're going to do is to go to parameter 2, which is the lower range value of the pressure that equals 4 milliamperes. We're going to enter that. So now we see it's negative 100. Well, that's because we're using a 100 inch capsule and we're allowed to go that low. What we're going to do is increase that to zero. So holding it down, she'll start to scroll upward from the negative 100. There's zero. I want to enter that value in, and it stops flashing. So I've locked in a lower range value of zero inches of water equals four milliamps. Fine. So what I want to do next is go down the parameter list to the upper range value. Right now the upper range value is 100 inches and I want, as I said before, 50 inches. So I enter into parameter three and I want to use the down button to get me to 50 inches. Now I've set 50 inches. I lock 50 inches in. The edit stops flashing indicating that now my new upper range value is 50 inches of water. Flow. Flow can be a rather noisy process. Let's see what we have as damping. Factory setting for damping is two seconds. I think that's a little bit high even for a flow application. Uh, you want it to be somewhat responsive. Uh, so what I'd like to do is maybe change that to one second. So once again, I enter the parameter 4, which is the damping parameter, and I want to decrease that value of 2, so I hold the down button, and she'll start to decrement, and I'm going to stop at 1 second. That's, that, in my opinion, is a pretty representative damping for a typical flow application. I'm going to lock that in. So, now that we've set a one second damping, which I think is uh, pretty good for flow, that way it's somewhat responsive, let's tell the transmitter that we're going to do a flow application. So what are we going to do? We're going to go to parameter five. Now 
we're in the editing mode for parameter 5, which is the application. Out of the factory, it comes pressure. I don't want pressure. We're doing flow. There's level. Here's VS Lin is volumetric flow with a square root to linear transition. We don't want that. We want, in my opinion, VS off. VS off is a transition from 4 milliamps right up to the square root curve at a certain percentage that we're going to select a little bit later. This is akin to low flow cutoff for most flow meters. Mag meters, vortex, all have a low flow cutoff. So this is what I like to use with an orifice plate especially because below certain values that orifice plate, the accuracy, the precision is rather shaky. So we're going to lock that in VS off. So that's fine. Now we've done that. The next thing is to do is to set up where we transition from reading flow to dropping to 4 milliamps, that low flow cutoff percentage. That happens to be parameter 20. So what are we going to do? We're stepping down the list of various things and coming down to parameter 20 Parameter 20 says low flow cutoff is 10%. Well, this is a Morphous plate. That's a flow rangeability of about 10 to 1. Most Morphous plates aren't quite that good. So I'm going to up this a little bit. You or your customer can choose whatever you like. I happen to think more like 12% uh, is a reasonable switching point. So I'm going to enter that as evidenced by the flashing. And what am I going to do? I'm going to increase that value to 12%. So now I'm going to lock that in. And now I've done that. The next thing I want to do is set up my display. Well, the flow units or any application units are available in parameter 16. Right now we're in parameter 20, so I don't want to hit the down button and go down the list. I want to go back up the list. So I want to go up the parameter list to parameter 16, which right now is in cubic meters per second. Well, I, I want GPM. So I enter the editing mode. Edit now starts to flash. I have a down arrow that says I'm at the top of the list, so therefore I want to come down the list. So now I'm coming through the various flow settings. And we're going to wait till we see there's cubic feet, there's standard, here comes imperial gallons, there's gallons per second, there's gallons per minute, GA slash M. That's what I want. Now I want to go to the lower value and upper value of what the input pressure change represents to those gallons a minute. I'm going to go to parameter 18 to set the lower scaling value of the display in gallons per minute. All right, I'm going to enter that, and now it says negative 99999. Well, I would hold my finger, I'm going to go up with the up button. As you can see, it's going up. And it would take me a long time to get to that. One trick I have found, if you hold the up button down and then touch the down button, she will start scrolling itself so you don't wear out your finger. Now she scrolls down and we'd like to stop at zero. Oh, got lucky, it did stop at zero. All right, so now zero gallons per minute has been set in parameter 18 and that's our lowing, lower value of the display. Next, we're gonna enter that. So now I've locked in zero. We're gonna step 
down, and the upper scaling value is, has to be set to 50. Right now it's all nines. So what we're going to do is start downward, and while I depress the lower key, I will touch the upper key, and now she will scroll by itself. And I want to set this to 50. We're probably going to wind up going to zero and then come up to 50. It's probably the best way to do this. We stopped it. Up oh, minus 10. So I've got to use the up arrow. Once again, touch the down while I'm holding the up depressed, and it will scroll upward. Now I'm at a thousand, so I'm going to come down. Sorry, I'm at negative a thousand, so I'm going to come up to 50. And there's 50. I lock that value in. So now using parameters 18 and 19, I have set up 0 to 50 gallons per minute as the display for an input pressure of 0 to 50 inches of water pressure. The last thing I need to do is to go to parameter 32 and see what that is set to, I want that to be flow because this unit, when it's in operation, we want to have the starting view as the flow units. So I step into that parameter and come in. There's the temp, there's the temp, there's the level, there's volumetric for level, there is volumetric flow. That's what we want. I enter that value, and now I can use the left-hand button to get volumetric flow. Right now, it's reading zero gallons per minute. If I apply pressure, I will see that go up to 26 gallons per minute, anywhere that an input pressure of 0 to 50 inches. So there it is. That's how simple it was to set up without the need for a handheld or any software. Thanks again for seeing and watching this video. I hope it was informative. Uh, look forward to any questions you have. Remember, you can always get us at Tech Support. Thank you.